Uh, what I want to talk to you today about is the Hubson drone here. This little tiny drone. This says 2.4 GHZ. I don't know what that means. RC. I have no idea what this stuff is. This is the Hubsan. Scene one. This is the Hubsan drone. Take two. This is a little guy. They need to change the name of it. We're gonna call him Little Buster. Here's Little Buster. This is the uh, Polar Pro Neutral Density Filter or ND filter. Uh, and this is for the uh, the Hero 3 Plus or the 3. It says right here 3 Plus, but down here it says Hero 3 3 Plus. So uh, this is an actual glass ND filter for your GoPro, so that when you go off and fly, you can reduce the Jello effect. Look at this. This has got uh, fingerprints on it already. But anyway. <laughs> Even on this side, there's fingerprints. So definitely got to clean your lens before you put it on. This is straight out of the box. It's the first time I've touched it today. And uh, there's two large finger smears on the, this, this side of it and one large one on the bottom one. So I'm definitely going to have to clean this sucker before I put it into use. Anyway, it seems very sturdy. I'm curious to see how it holds on and uh, how it's going to work with the gimbal on the Phantom. A lot of people have been talking on their blogs about how awesome this uh, ND filter is and how it reduces the jello effect and the uh, hopefully prop shadow as well but I, I don't know why this would re reduce prop, prop shadow without a, without a uh, shade on it so uh, anyway we're gonna give this a try you know I got mine today the get her back it's a depth activated rod recovery system this is for your fishing pole where you to drop it in the water but we don't do that fishing poles. We put these on phantoms in case our phantom falls in the water in a lake or in an ocean. You have this little guy on it. In about seven to ten minutes this little popper is going to come to the surface. It's got a hundred foot line on it so if it's less than a hundred feet deep this little popper will come to the surface telling you where your phantom is in the bottom of the lake. Hopefully it's a lake and not an ocean can Google this get one of these if you're flying over water and you really really want to get a hold of your phantom if it goes in the drink get a getter back any better back no get her back get her back the water splashdown I found this the other day I was pretty stoked it's this little GoPro unit right here you just plop that on your window if you want to do GoPros in the car, for example, I don't know if I necessarily trust on the exterior if you're traveling at 60 miles an hour. I don't know why you'd be at 60 considering the speed limit's 65, but in case you were going 60 and the speed limit were 30, you would want one of these. It's got two little dials on it. So you can plop it down on your car, move it around. And this the head goes this way as well. So I want to talk about uh, this is Zenmuse H3 3D gimbal for a second. Oh. My precious. Beautiful. One, two, three. H3 3D gimbal. We're going to be giving one of these 3D gimbals away, so follow my blog for details. JamesBoydPresents.com.